I'm old. I'm puzzled. And I'm only able to change one of those. Monday and Tuesday of this week was all about three words. Hippos go berserk. I headed off to work on Monday morning, got about three quarters of the way there, and then decided to turn around and head back home. I called my boss and told him I wasn't coming into work and I was going to stay at home and work on a jigsaw puzzle. Over the next two days, I spent about 18 hours working on the puzzle. Hippos Go Berserk is from the brand Boynton for Puzzlers, and the image is an illustration by the artist Sandra Boynton. I spent the first hour sorting the pieces into three piles. The border, the pieces that had colors, and the pieces that were just black and white. And later, I took about a half hour to sort all of the black and white pieces by shape. But that hour and a half wasn't included in the time on the timer. Okay, I'll come clean. What I said in the introduction was the truth, but not the complete truth. So let's try doing the introduction again. Monday and Tuesday of this week were all about three words. Lake effect snow. I did actually head off to work Monday morning. This is a video that was shot by a co-worker of mine as they were driving into work. I did get about three quarters of the way to work and then I saw this sign in the middle of the highway. So I did actually call my boss, tell him that I wasn't coming into work and that I was going to go home and work on a jigsaw puzzle. And I wasn't actually scheduled to work on Tuesday. So basically I spent all of Monday and Tuesday working on this jigsaw puzzle. But I did take off a few minutes to do one thing. Okay, back to the puzzle.
This was an excellent puzzle to make. Superior puzzle quality, no misfits. The image was hard enough to be a challenge without becoming too difficult to be annoying. When I first started working on the black and white pieces, I realized I was working at about a rate of one piece per minute. I highly recommend this puzzle to anyone that wants an enjoyable challenge. And one more thing, before anybody complains that that didn't seem to be like a whole lot of snow, living on the shores of Lake Huron, we get major dumps of snow. Here's a picture of the aftermath from a couple of years ago. So thanks for watching the video. Also in the comments is a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page if you'd like to support this channel. And subscribe to this channel to see what other nonsense I can get up to. Because you know, I'm old, I'm bored, and I'm only able to change one of those.